Five, four, three, two, one. Go. DJ Sammo. Hi, my name is Minnesota. This is DJ Sammo. Welcome to the channel. Sorry, I haven't posted videos for a while. Graphics card on my computer went down back in December, so I've been waiting for prices to come down to get a new one. Finally did, so here, I'm going to try making some more videos here again. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about lighting trees for your DJ business. Uh, I'm going to start out with the one I originally had and worked with. That's this guy right here. Uh, I have had this for about five years, and it's been through a lot of shows with me. And this past uh, winter here in Minnesota, I'm like, you know what? I'm getting kind of tired of having to manually lift the lights up by hand or having to use a ladder to put the light lights on. And I thought I'd want a crank up light stand. So I was looking at the options out there and found a couple different ones. And I found uh, this uh, on stage version, which this is on on stage too. And I found on stage crank up lighting stand. That's this one here. And that one is the. Uh, uh, LS705QIK. Uh, retails for 218 bucks. You know, fair. Not a bad price, you know. And if it does everything I want it to, yeah, that'd be great. So, bought it, got it. Was really excited to get it, receive it, took it apart. Uh, I was kind of disappointed. First of all, I'll show you here uh, basic legs, and you know, Got the legs, this is a crank up part, and this is an extension bar for it. So, I'm gonna take this extension bar off, and this is what it attached to, attaches to here. See if we get a better angle. Crank this up, and this piece right here goes up to about 34 inches. Now, there's one problem with this. I'm six feet two or 6'3", depending on what shoes I'm wearing. I put this extension bar on. That's already, what, probably about a close to seven feet right there. Now I gotta take this T-bar and put it on the top of there. I'm stretching at six foot two, six three. Now I know a lot of you DJs aren't, they aren't as tall as I am. So you guys are really gonna be struggling with something like this or you're gonna have to bring a ladder with, which kindly totally defeats the purpose of going from this guy to this guy. So I was going to return it, but then I'm like, well, I want to save it. I want to make a YouTube video about it, you know? So uh, my best opinion on it, uh, do not buy. It's uh, poor execution and design, and it looks like they just kind of rushed it out just to have something out there. So uh, yeah, moving on. I then went and purchased uh, this guy here. This is the Hercules uh, 700 LS700B. Retails for about 330 bucks. So, if I were you guys, I'd save the money on the on-stage version. Get the Hercules. It's going to be what you're looking for. And I'll show you one of the reasons why. Uh, first thing is, you can have your Light stand all the way down here. You can put your lights on, get them all wired up the way you like and stuff. And then you'll have to get a little adapter for it. Uh, I got an adapter right here. It costs like, if you look, uh, I think on stage makes the adapters. <laughs> Funny. But they're like five, ten bucks, something like that. But you'll have to get an adapter to put your normal, uh, if you just want to use your normal T bar for it. Otherwise, it does come with a T bar, but it's a square one. And me, I already had most of my lights set up on a T-bar already, so I just put the adapter on here and slapped that on. So, Well, what's nice about this, you can put your lights on down here, and this actually cranks up all the way to the ceiling here, measuring tape. And this ceiling, what is it? Yeah. The ceiling is 10 feet tall, so if you need your lights to go higher than 10 feet, you're probably looking at a trussing system and stuff like that. Um, just a whole bigger lighting system than a lighting tree. 
but yeah, this thing does go up to at least 10 feet. If you're, so I can crank it up and this will touch the ceiling in here. So, and it cranks down nice and easy. So it goes up. It's got a nice little safety clip that clips in just like that. The onstage has a safety pin. This is a more of a clip. Uh, works great. So, uh, if you guys are looking for lightning trees out there and you want to, something easy for you guys to set up, uh, I'd recommend the Hercules LS700B. Uh, it is a little more expensive. It is a little more heavy duty built too. It's a pretty much all solid steel construction. There's hardly any plastic on it whatsoever except for the housing for the crank part. And that's about the only plastic and a couple uh, knobs on here. But other than that, it's all solid steel. And I also found a nice other little feature. One of the places I play at, it's kind of a tight space. And I was really struggling with uh, this one to find the right lighting spot for it to get all my lights to work decent. Because I'd have to put it almost behind the speaker and sometimes the speaker would block the lights. This one I found I can actually be in this part here where the legs connect sits up higher than it does on the onstage versions. You can actually set your sub right here and it'll kind of straddle the sub a little bit, which is really nice. And it gives, this gave me a lot more room and my lights were able to hit the whole dance floor perfectly. So uh, once again, uh, if you're looking for a Lenny tree, I rec strongly recommend this Hercules LS700B. Once again, my name is Minnesota's DJ Samo. Thank you guys for watching. And just keep the party rocking. Five, four, three, two, one, go. DJ Samo. Samo.